So when DMX signal is detected by the transmitter, this blue light is going to change to a flashing red light to indicate it has DMX signal. What's up guys, it's DJ Rick Webb. Welcome back to the channel. As you guys know from previous videos, I just picked up more of the donor wireless DMX dongle connectors, whatever you want to call them. It's basically a wireless DMX. It's DMX wirelessly, no wires. You get the point. Anyways, I'm going to show you guys because it's like been a very big requested thing is like how does the donor wireless DMX work? How do you operate it? It's it's plug and play. I'm going to show you, but uh, we're going to walk through it very quickly into this today's video of how this all works, so let's get into it. How about her? So, right here in front of me, is, right in front of you, in front of me, is the donor wireless DMX system. The donor wireless DMX system is comprised of both transmitters, like these two right here. These are transmitters. These are what plug into either your DMX box, like this ADJ DMX bridge, or this Shave Show Express box over here. They plug into that, or they can plug into another light. This is the DMX out signal goes into your transmitters. The next portion in the chain is the receivers. So these are the receivers. This is the DMX in that goes into your lights, such as this ADJ Mega Hex bar. This is the DMX in that you would plug in right here. So again, very simple. You got transmitters that plug into the DMX boxes and you got receivers that plug into your lights. Basically what it is is what the name implies. It is DMX wirelessly. Now that wireless communication is done over 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. It's the same Wi-Fi you have at home at a local Starbucks. It's Wi-Fi signal. So now I'd like to point out a couple of common questions that get asked in terms of wireless DMX. The first question that gets asked is, one, do I need a receiver for every single light? And the answer is no. And what I mean by that is you can plug your transmitter into your DMX box, such as the EJ DMX bridge or the Chave Show Express box here. And then you can go to your first light, say this ADJ part right here, and plug in your receiver. All right. Now, say I have a second par very close to this par. Instead of using another receiver for this, all I need to do is link the two together with a cable. So I'm going to now come out of the light that the receiver is plugged into and go into this light, and that'll work perfectly fine. Now, another question I get asked by people that don't necessarily use like the ADJ DMX or the Chave Show Express, the guys that are just using master slave of their lights is, can I run this light as my master, plug my DMX transmitter into this for the DMX out, and then plug my DMX in to this light? And the answer is no, it will not work like that. Master slave does not work with the donor wireless DMX. It requires DMX signal to be able to operate. Now, what you can do in terms of like going in and out of lights with transmitters and receivers is if you are running a DMX signal, say from your ADJ Airstream box like this with the transmitter, and you go into your first light. Now, let's say you have a really long room. The, the max range on this donor DMX, I haven't really pushed it too far, but I would say it's somewhere around 100 feet, maybe 150. I've definitely done up to 150 feet before with no problem, but uh, it starts to get a little bit of a delay. So what I would suggest is that you run your transmitter from your DMX box, which is say on one end of the room. This light is like 75 feet down the room, and then you have lights on the far end of the room. This is like a 150 foot long room. So what you can do is you can put a second transmitter that comes out of this light, and then run another receiver on this light 75 feet further down the room to basically be able to chain the signal from the receiver to the transmitter to basically push your signal further. Now I wanna talk about how you actually operate the system because a lot of people wanna know, how do I pair the transmitter with the receiver? Well, from the factory, they are already paired. So if you buy a three pack with one transmitter and three receivers, these are already gonna be linked together. All you need to do is plug in your transmitter and plug in your receivers and you're set and ready to go. But one thing you could run into is interference. This is not common to say the least. It does not happen that often. I have literally only had to ever change my channel that I'm running all these on once. And the reason for that was because at that high school that we were doing a homecoming for, 
the auditorium they also were using the exact same wireless DMX set and we were on the same channel and we were causing interference for one another. So I basically went and changed all of mine to a different channel and I'm going to show you how you do that right now. So right here we have one of the transmitters and I already plugged power into it. So if you flip it over like this, you will see a color LED showing here. And right now it is indicating blue and right below it there's a little pin slot and inside that pin slot there is a button to allow you to change the color. So right now we're on like a turquoise, there is a teal, now we're on red, green, blue. There are seven different color channels that you could select from. So I'm running on blue, so I'm gonna turn it back to blue. But basically, all you need to do is match this color to the color of your receivers, and that is all you need to do to pair the channel. Say so I'm gonna change my channel to green. We're gonna go on the green channel now. There we go, we're on the green channel there. Now I'm gonna go to my wireless DMX receivers and show you what that's on. First thing I wanna point out, these are the battery-operated receivers. They do sell these in a wired version. The only downside to the wired version is you have to leave it plugged in 24 seven. So right here is the plug in port for this. I can plug it in and uh, we will see that it's charging right here. That's another point on the battery one. There's a little charging indicator. This will go solid green when it is fully charged. As you can tell, it is not fully charged. Then on the wireless ones, there is a button to turn it on and off right here. And you can actually use this right here, the pin, to turn it on and off pretty convenient and you can actually use the power adapter to be able to turn them on and off which is kind of convenient so right there you can see it is glowing blue which indicates it is on the blue channel and obviously if you have the non battery operated ones there is no on and off button so all you would do is literally just plug it in and it'll turn on so so basically it would look like this if it was a non battery operated one now again on the receivers there is another button window right here and this is how we change the color so if I want to change this to green I'm going to go in here with a little pin or like a pin and I'm going to find the button. So there's the button. So there we're on purple. That is actually like a teal color. That's red and that's green right there. So now these are paired. So now both of these are on the green channel. They are paired and they will work perfectly fine and normal. Now one thing to point out, these are colored right now. I changed them back to blue because that's the channel that I run them on. Your mileage may vary. but. They are blue now, but these will change color when you plug these into a DMX signal. So when DMX signal is detected by the transmitter, this blue light is going to change to a flashing red light to indicate it has DMX signal. The receivers, when they detect a DMX signal from the transmitter, basically letting you know that the transmitter and the receiver are connected and they are sending DMX signal, these will begin flashing green. And I will show you that here in a second. So as you can see right here, I just plugged in the donor transmitter to the ADJ DMX bridge box. And now it is flashing red, indicating that it is sending DMX signal. You can also see over to the right here that our receiver is now flashing green, indicating that it is paired to the transmitter and it is receiving DMX signal. Very simple guys, very easy to use. That's why I love these. This is why a lot of people bought them and a lot of people have these and use them. And there you have it guys. Very, very simple. I wanted to close out this video by talking about like the options you can buy. First off, on the transmitter options, you can buy this in silver like this or in a stealth black option as well. And it does not come in a battery option. These are always going to be plugged in to a electrical source. On the receiver option, there's actually a lot of different models and I'll link them in the description down below. You guys can go check them out. But you have the battery ones in silver that look like this and you have the battery ones in black. You also have the non-battery ones that require you to plug them in and they come in a silver kind of smaller one than this. They also come in ones that look like this with an antenna. I recommend you stay away from the ones that have antennas because these are prone to breaking. Like this one right here is actually broken. The pin came out of it. It still works, but uh, the pin came out of it. So I have to be like kind of careful with it. It's better off having less of these. So all the transmitters look like this. They all have an antenna on them. I'd rather only have to worry about one of these and not five of them with these. And obviously these come in a lot of different package options. You can buy, I think the smallest one you can buy is a three pack. So you get three receivers with one transmitter or you could buy a five pack, there's an eight pack, there's like a dual receiver with 12 of them. And of course you could buy these individually. You could buy one receiver or one 
transmitter, uh, but you should really just buy them in a pack because it's cheaper. It's a cheaper deal. My personal recommendation, guys, is to just pick up a three pack, and my personal recommendation is to buy the battery operated ones. You honestly, you look at the price and you're like, I, I'd save some money just going with the powered ones, but honestly, it is just a hassle and a half to have to plug in all of those little power adapters. These things get really annoying to plug in all these little things. The battery on these things lasts like 10 to 15 hours. I've got 15 hours out of these before. Depending on how long your shows are, you could more than likely, and I actually get easily two shows out of one charge. And lastly guys, the main reason for getting wireless DMX is to save on your setup time. No lie, when I first implemented these, I saved a whole entire hour on setup because of all the cabling you have to do with wired DMX. I highly, highly recommend guys you look into wireless DMX. I know the number one negative thing that people are gonna say in the comments below is that wireless DMX is slightly delayed. There is a delay, but it's literally like point 0.01 milliseconds or something like that. It's super hard to actually notice it unless you're looking for it. So I wouldn't worry about delay being an issue, especially for the mobile guys out there you're never gonna notice this delay. All right guys, that is finally it for this whole entire video on the donor wireless DMX system. If you guys like this video, be sure to chalk a like on it. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about the donor wireless DMX system, leave them down in the comment section down below. Like I said, I've owned five of these now for over four years and I can't imagine not having these. They're just so good. And they honestly should just be one of those tools that every DJ should have. So with that said guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for all the awesome videos that are coming in the lighting series. This was kind of like just a side video. But keep the record spinning guys. I will see you guys next time. Peace.